Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Flybug Podcast. Today you got your biggest, bestest host, yep. Sincere, yep. host of the Flybug Podcast. And I'm joined by the co-host, Marcos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell notification. And uh, we love you. It's a sad day, bro. It's a sad day for the blacks. The blacks are down. The blacks are down at least like 50 Two, points. 2-0 oh, this month. Yeah? 2-0. Oh. What the fuck did we lose earlier? Election. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, Kamala. Lo- Damn, that's 2-0 and oh this month. Yeah, well, the first one, we know the first one. You can go ahead and go in detail about the second loss. Oh, yeah, Tyson. Mike, Iron Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. The Whites are having a field day right now, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Winning elections. Winning sports. Do we have anything anymore? Next, uh, they're yeah. finna win the drive-by Olympics. Like, <laughs> no, that was, a, that was a low shot. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> low hanging fruit. <laughs> it was something. Yeah. Let's go ahead and analyze the boxing match. From your perspective... He goes in. Actually, we should get before their entrances. What would you rate their entrances? One out of ten. Starting with Jake Paul. Uh, one thing I did want to, um, I, I guess, shout out, but more or less um, shoot down if I could. Uh, Mike Tyson's ass cheeks were on full display oh, for yeah. no reason. It, it didn't deepen the plot. No. It didn't create more tension. It was just his ass cheeks, and it was uncomfortable <laughs> and it was surprising. 58 years. But what would you rate his ass cheeks? Um, See, I wouldn't have known the first time around Mm because I was like, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The replay is what really (laughs) cemented it in my head. Like, I could actually see, like, I feel like they're, like, slightly, like, chap cheeks, too. (laughs) Like, he had, like, a, it was a slight white film on the outside, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. After that, bro, I thought he was on a whole different type of time. Yeah, like after the ass cheeks were out, I'm like, this isn't fake, bro. He doesn't mm-hmm. give a fuck, bro. He's in his yeah. head right now. It's nothing but war, mm-hmm. bro. He's a he's a Spartan going out to war. Spartans are half naked, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Unless it's just for the movies to sell abs to in um, you that know. too, man. I doubt they would be half naked, but yeah. for your point, let's keep going. Yeah, so like the fucking Romans and stuff, bro. You got to be naked back there. <laughs> um, yeah. So after that, bro, I just really thought it, he was going to go crazy. Going to be a game changer. Yeah. But by, by the time y'all see this, y'all know, y'all know what happened. Mm-hmm. Bro, y'all, y'all know how we're feeling. Um, first round. Bro, well, I, wait, I, wait. Well, let's get oh, to go, the okay. entrances first. Oh, okay. Before the ring. All right. We yeah. knew a lot happened or yeah, something cheeks. happened. Right. You had twenty dollar on each of his ass cheeks, okay? His entrance. <laughs> yeah, I did have twenty. Bucks Let's go with his, cause his was pretty. He just walked out, all black, black trunks, black gloves. It was like, man, this is the first time a professional fight I'm seeing of Mike Tyson live. Facts. And that was great. Yeah. So, what yeah. do you think about his entrance? Um, I thought it was. Like, it's iconic, you know? Mm-hmm. His mm-hmm. all black, calm demeanor going in. I think the fear shows on his face a lot more with age. Mm. I think back then when you're young and, like, when he looked kind of scaredish going in, he was still just seen as such, like, a monster that, like, the fear didn't, like, it didn't really show through that much. Yeah. But I, I feel like, not like he's scared of Jake Paul, but just, like, the nervousness of the moment. Yeah, like having to overcome it. Not saying that you know he didn't go out there and perform, uh, but like I, I felt like I was able to see worry on his face the entire time. Mm. So on the mm. walk in, I felt like I saw a lot of worry. Mm. I was a little, I was feeling weird then. Okay, and then with Jake Paul's entrance, what would you rate it? Um, it was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it was a low rider. Yeah, low rider. Yeah, with the flames. Phil on the Collins, front. I think, in the air or some song like that, or sorry, <laughs> something. I know it's a very popular song. <laughs> yeah. I know it's Phil Collins. Yeah. In the air of the night, something like that. Uh, I just think it like it didn't match. It did not match. <laughs> it didn't make no it sense. It said he's fighting out of Puerto Rico, the whitest song we can come up with. <laughs> yeah, he had a fighting out of Puerto Rico, gave himself the nickname El Gallo, the rooster, mm. right? Oh, wow. And then Phil Collins somewhere. <laughs> All black coaches. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Out of Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Fighting 
for Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> and what do you feel about his million dollar outfit? Oh yeah, no, I thought that was I thought he went like he put on some bullshit. Yeah, it yeah, had yeah. to have been like half of it was the car. Yeah, gold cheeseburgers. Or, yeah, most of it was something. the car or some shit. Mm-hmm. It was. I thought if he like he would have did something cool, like yeah, something yeah, that yeah. stuck out more. But yeah. if you just wore like a all gold or silver outfit, it's like who knows what the fuck mm-hmm. that is? Spray paint probably. But when well, you spend a million on that, you can't wear that shit nowhere else. I mean, dog. it like, worked out. I mean, it worked out in his favor. You yeah. know, he wore it. Million bucks, obviously talked about forty the million dollar return. Yep, we heard that for Jake's yeah. side. Twenty million for he Mike said Tyson. that's what uh, that's what Kevin Lynn James said. Mm. He dropped the stats earlier. He said that yeah he was getting forty, and then Tyson's getting. I remember he, Tyson said he was getting twenty because I looked up his net worth earlier and it was ten million. Mm. So getting twenty million for a fight, I was like, oh no, duh, he's taking this. Yeah, yeah, also, yeah. Also, like. I don't know. Maybe he really thought he could win. I think. I mean, honestly, it's it's a totally different beast. You know, I think a lot of people give him. I think a lot of people were, were they kept remarking like his age and like a negative light. I actually saw Mike Tyson like do something that he had no business really doing in terms of the the amount of pressure they put onto him. Right, like he accepted the contract, whether it was for money whether it's for his own personal um, experience, right? Mm. It was something with Mike and everybody kept talking about his age, but then I realized that people are still scared of this dude. Yeah. Like, this dude has tremendous heart, and when he was fighting at, like, you know, 20 years ago or he was fighting at, like, a younger age, it was something where people just looked at him totally different. Like, the scariest, baddest man on the planet, Mm. right? And it's something that I can, like, admire and respect that Mike Tyson has, like, kind of calmed that beast down, right? Like, he's not fighting his inner demons. He's just challenging himself for his own his own purposes, right? Like, he had, like, for himself, he had a moral high ground. He was there. He tried. And he was, he was doing, bro, 58 years old is no joke. Like, it's, it's really old. Yeah, it's like, the amount of respect I have for Mike Tyson is crazy. <clears throat> But I would say that people wanted to for him to be an animal, and he was just like, I'm going to go in here for myself. I'm going to challenge myself, and he didn't get knocked out. That's a great thing, especially with you know, someone that they're referring to as Jake Paul to be like, he's going for those punches, the overhand rights, right? He's trying to make a show happen. But I think, I think both of them kind of respected each other. You had some money involved, right? Yeah. How were you watching the rounds? Because I know you were yeah, standing so up. We got to yeah. go back and talk about the at least mm-hmm. the first mm-hmm. first round. But first I was round, yep, instantly yep. out of my seat, bro. Yeah, like, immediately. I was like, I was, I'm gonna sit down, and then I like I can't sit down. Hmm. Uh, I just I ah fuck, bro. When you get when, when money's on the line, bro. <laughs> when you're like, dealing with these coin purses, <laughs> yeah, you really gotta um, think about. Don't it. gamble, guys. I don't ever. <laughs> I don't suggest gambling. Yeah, and if you <laughs> yeah. do gamble with your brain, not your heart. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I am like zero and seven right now. Mm. I'm, <laughs> I'm the worst sports better yeah. ever, bro. <laughs> they see your name pop up, they're like, "We just got paid, y'all." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, but okay no the first round bro i was excited because i thought oh, like, yeah. he had it bro i thought he still had the energy i thought at least for six and a half rounds which is what i was betting for <laughs> that he was going to be able to keep up this for like but yeah bro two rounds that's all he had two rounds is what, is what you got to see a flash of the old tyson for like a second kind of like pressuring him in but that's his whole style and I knew going into the fight that he has to be able to pressure Drake Paul into close distances and just light him up. But if he doesn't have the energy to keep exploding into him, mm-hmm. then he was just going to be a sitting duck. And yeah. That's so what we got yeah. to watch is, like, does Jake Paul have the power to knock out Mike Tyson? Not even, like, is it a fight anymore? Mm. It's like, this is an old man who's tired. And it's like, can he hit him hard enough to knock him out? Yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah. That's what, like, half of the fight was after round two. Shit, 75% of the fight. It was just like, damn. 
But the first two rounds was super exciting to see. Yeah, and yeah. Like to be able to see him go back and do it again. I just wish that you know time, man. It's something, man. It's unforgiving, you know. There's a there's a song um, by this famous. Uh, He's passed away now, but Juan Gabriel, mm. um, he's a famous singer out of Mexico, mm. a great artist, well, one of the best artists ever. Is he the one with the note? No, 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 that's Chalino, Chalino oh. Sanchez. Yeah, I'm not uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, in this song, Juan Gabriel is like, God forgives, but time doesn't, you know? Mm. It doesn't stop for nobody. It's very yeah. cruel. Yeah. But I didn't see that, though. I think a lot of people were very much like, it's like the new Black Ops Zombies. You know what I mean? People are trying to compare it to, and I mean, it's it's a natural reaction, right? Yeah. People are trying to compare the old zombies. This is my podcast now. People are trying yeah. to compare the old zombies to the Black Ops Zombies from 2010s, 2008s, yeah. right? And you're not going to get the same thing, but can you admire the product for what it is today, yeah. right? Can you admire the ambition, the drive? He had, this fight had to get moved over due yeah. to some complications to Mike's health, yeah. right? And the fact that he went out there and he was like, if it was an excuse, I wouldn't be fighting right now, mm -hmm. right? If my leg was, if my leg and the knee brace was X, Y, Z, I wouldn't be here. I can't use that excuse. Yeah. And that's just like real commendable. And I think a lot of people were uncomfortable. Well, at least some of the commentators were saying that everybody was kind of uncomfortable, uncomfortable, maybe disappointed. Yeah. Like yeah. with- uh, Or confused, I should say. Like how so? Cause like with like, his responses or with the with, with the, the fight, oh, okay, the, with yeah, the fight. they were yeah. like not wanting to boo him because it's Iron Mike, right? Yeah. But also like kind of just wanting that 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 shake up, that thing that just kind of changed from zero to a hundred, you know? Yeah, yeah, they didn't want to boo him because if it was anyone else standing there, they would have been like, "This fucking sucks," you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like they gave a lot of grace with the timing and the pace of the fight. Because towards the end, Jake Paul wasn't trying to knock out Mike Tyson. Like, there was a very high chance of Jake Paul just lighting him up and staying on him, <clears throat> which he could have done. And he even asked him, like, were you trying not to knock him out? And he started choking on the answer to be like, I, I, was, I was trying my best. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, like, you could have won the fight. You know, you could have got it over with. But I see, I could see why you wouldn't do it. Oh, yeah, you yeah. You know, the talking points, the da 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 Like, he looked dead at the end. And if he would have finished it, it would have just not you looked. Just, it would have yeah, looked good. Yeah. But if we're talking about a real fight between just two people, like, shit, I'm not looking for an exhibition right now. I'm looking yeah, for some yeah. finishing blows and shit. Mm. Like, Mike said he wanted this on his permanent record. Like, it's a fight. I'm pretty sure if if he would have asked him, like, do you want me to bow to you in the last 10 seconds? He would have been like, nah, like, swing that yeah, shit yeah, out. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. His whole energy towards the fight going in was this is a fight. Like, we are going in here. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know. I think Jake still had it in his head that it's like I'm fighting my hero. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, legendary status shit or whatever. No, I'm trying to see someone get murdered in six and a half rounds or less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Maybe some people just didn't have good intentions, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I see, though. Like, I mean, you know, they mentioned that Jake, uh, his moves are uh, strategic, right? In there, I saw him show, like, a lot of class, a lot of respect, too. You know, usually something I wasn't accustomed to seeing in this character. But I think that, <clears throat> I mean, I think anybody could respect the hell out of Mike Tyson, you know? Yeah. Uh, except for one person, probably one of the corniest people ever. When they asked Mike about who he's going to fight next or if he's going to do it again. Ariel Huani? Uh, they announced the, the talking dude? Yeah, remember yeah, he yeah, said yeah, his yeah, name yeah, Ariel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ariel. He had asked Mike, he said, is this the last time you'll be in the ring? He's like, oh, I don't I don't know. He's like, what does your gut tell you, right? Yeah. He was like, no, it's not the last time. And he was like, oh, is there anybody you want to fight, you want to call out? And he was pointed at Logan Paul, yeah. Jake's brother. He was like, oh, I want to go against this guy, you know? Yeah. And it was like a very like, oh man, that's kind of cool. You know, he's still he's still kicking it. He's still like feeling it. Yeah. Logan Paul had the like corniest, like yeah. mean, unchill answer, <laughs> and he just like, Ugh. dude, I'd kill. Well, he said I'd like fucking kill you yeah, or something exactly. like said, that. Yeah, he said, Mike, I'd kill you. Yeah, 
He said, Mike, I gotta fucking kill you. <clears throat> that is like the craziest. Mike, I'm fucking kill you. <laughs> like and that. Mike is like, ah, I don't care. You know yeah, what I mean? Like that. Oh my gosh, man. No, he, you know, he was like, oh yeah, there you go. <clears throat> the fight's going now. But I don't, he does not need to fight Logan Paul. No. At all. Yeah. He's just a bigger version of his brother. Yeah. Like, and that's like the only reason Jake, I don't like, probably can't beat Logan. It's just like he's a taller, stronger version of him. I like, think I think he could be. I think brother. he could, but he could like the thing that's brother. holding it o- over is the size. No, I think he could hella beat up his brother. I don't think he could hella beat. He him. could super beat up his. You think no, he, he can't, can't beat up bro. his brother? Jake has a hard time finishing people <clears throat> that could like that are athletic, bro. Like big and athletic, he can't finish. Yeah, him. Tommy Fury. Um, yeah, exactly, bro. Well, I mean, he like they no, have a boxing other background. There's, you know what I mean? There's Deji, bro. There's Tommy Fury. There's uh, Nate Deji. Diaz. Yeah, he could have finished Nate Diaz, bro. Yeah, Nate Diaz is known for his chin, though. Like that's kind of like you're in a boxing ring, though. It's not. It's not the. UFC, I mean, I bro. think Logan almost got knocked out by Floyd Mayweather. It's you Floyd know what I mean? Fucking Mayweather. Yeah, but that's like. That's a dude who's fifty years old he's at the, the time. That's the greatest boxer to ever. Exist, okay, ever. but he's fifty years old. and He's a like he's light. I'm, yeah, he's I'm not sure tiny. what his his weight class was. I, I want to say lightweight. Yeah, um, flyweight. Yeah, like that. he's yeah. A small. He's yeah. tiny guy. Like around one forty or less. I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, and he almost knocked out. I'm pretty sure he did knock out Logan Paul. He didn't knock him out. No. Yeah, then he had to carry him. I watched the fight. These I are watched my the stats. fight too. Bro. These are Marco's unverified yeah. stats. <laughs> Mayweather is cold, bro. He is. He's man. like the he best, is. and he has the best defense. That's that. That wasn't. That's like yeah. No, he couldn't fight Jake either. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. I mean, he could. He yeah, yeah, though, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, in terms of like, what are you really expecting? I think this is probably the last time people are like, yeah, let me schedule it with. I don't think it's gonna get any bigger than this. What I'm trying to say. Yeah, so I, don't I don't think, think there'd Tyson be a point to, to go back in the ring. Yeah. Unless it's with another old head, like if it's, a, if it's another Roy Jones Jr., Evander Holyfield, yeah, yeah. or something like that. Nah, they're not gonna they're not gonna do that. I think this Shit, is one of those bro, things. One of that, them just said, "I'm the best," and if yeah, anyone go against me, get put down. That'd be a great old head match, bro. He already beat Tyson too. Back maybe. In the day. Yeah. Uh, but that's the only thing I would accept. You know yeah, what I mean? Like. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm still probably watching it anyways. Yeah. But it's like, I'm not going to be happy about it. Mm. It was something where when the fight was over, it was like, okay, cool. Thank thank God it's over. <laughs> it was something where I was like, it's it's kind of awkward, you know? Because yeah. you still have, like, nobody's going to doubt Mike's legacy. Nobody's going to look at him any other way other than with respect, I can, I can imagine. Yeah. Well, I mean, he just went out there and got tired. Yeah, and won twenty million dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah, like and didn't get knocked out. That was the thing. If he would have got flatlined, that would like the pictures, the memes, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. That would have been like a. He doesn't care, but you know his fans do. Yeah, yeah. You know of people care more for him than he actually does. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. That's a lot of things, but I I think the fact that he stayed up on his feet the whole time. Everyone's just gonna say, look at him in the first two rounds. And then after that, like, he just literally got to stand there because he was, yeah. like, old. Yeah. So it's not even like a Mike nice. Tyson got bad. He just is just old. So it's really, like, you really didn't lose shit. Mm. It was something that I feel was. Jake lost something, though, I think. What do you say? You think Jake lost something? Yeah. I mean, what do you think he lost? Bro, you just fought a 58-year-old man who wasn't moving for yeah. over six rounds, and you couldn't knock him out. I mean, after talking all that shit about knocking him out, like hell no, nah, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's fifty eight years old. No, I think like that's kind and of the idea of the promo though, is that you're trying to make it like more amped up. There's more tension than there actually is. There was a lot of respect for both of them. You know what I mean? Like no. Mike called him a good fighter. You know what yeah, I mean? He said and that Jake, before they fought though. Yeah, but I'm saying like this is like it's it's a respectable match, and I think what it was intended to do was to get people talking. To get people hyped, and I think even bringing some hope to people, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that was corny <laughs> as hell, bro. What are you talking nah, about? Man. You it's got inspired you didn't, by that, you bro? You didn't understand the message, bro. <laughs> you got inspired by that match? It's like, bro, if you 58, bro, it's not over. You can still go yes, do it. it. Is, bro. You can still not go do it. Mike fucking Tyson. All right, man, but somebody, somebody. <laughs> what I'm trying yeah. to say, man. No, he got to do it because he's like a very specific specimen. Yes, yes. Um, but. 
Hell no, nah, bro. I don't think that shit was inspiring. I don't think Jake Paul should look at that yeah. shit like a W, like he won the yeah. match or something. Like, you just, you peppered up a fucking 58-year-old. Nah, man. They like, both agreed to gassed. it, bro. Yeah, he agreed to it, but that doesn't make the win good. If a kid agrees to fight me and I whoop his ass, I'm not big points. No, I just Why whoop the kid's a kid ass. Why is he fighting an old man? He agreed to it. They both got money in it. He agreed to it, bro. Okay, but then it's kind of like, why is he fighting a, a UFC fighter over and over again? You know what I mean? He gets slack. What I'm do you saying, mean? I'm get, that's what I'm saying. It's strategic, him. right? Yeah. Like, he's doing it for the names, for the attention. And it, and yeah. it works. It's a great business recipe. You got you to gotta be real. Sort of works. It worked with Tyson. What? It doesn't work with everybody. He fought Mike Perry. Nobody watched that shit. I didn't watch it. Nobody. You didn't even know who he was. I didn't know who he was either. He fought fucking Anderson Silva. People that was not, pretty big. It, it, people didn't watch it, bro. Okay, was, not as big as and, Mike Tyson, bro. Yeah, they got a Netflix. Bro. I, I think. I mean, Where Netflix, did they fight? Netflix is making different moves though. Like they're doing football now. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, but yeah, they but, didn't get the attention of a Netflix. Yeah, obviously you have one of the biggest names in history. And then you have Mike, like a Mike Perry. No disrespect to Mike Perry. But I'm just saying, like, there's a reason why this garnered so much revenue. There's a reason why yeah. Netflix Tyson. camera quality started crapping out as soon as the fight's about to start. You know, people were watching it. Yeah. And in terms of crazy, in, I mean, money was made. Mike challenged himself. He felt good about himself. He said, "I came in here, did it for myself. I'm not really yeah. thinking about other people." I thought it was cool. Yeah, I thought his speech at the end was very cool. I thought it was a very Touching. good mindset. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that mindset. Yeah. Do you think your forty dollars is playing here? <laughs> do you think losing forty bucks is making? <laughs> Don't do nobody won. Everybody <laughs> lost. <laughs> <laughs> playing a huge factor in my. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, we could hear it, man. I enjoyed I the look fight. At the breakdown of my For actual. Free. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fuck you. Um, <laughs> Where's the... I mean, there's no swear jar, bro. We're just oh, free yeah. balling. <laughs> yeah. Free base. So Jeez. I had 10 on Tyson to win. Mm. Uh, I had... Uh, what, what is that? 10 for either fighter to be knocked down in the first or third round. Damn, bro. You No one got knocked down, <laughs> nah, bro. Man. And then I had 10 for it to go under six and a half rounds. And then I had 10 for Tyson to KO him, TKO <laughs> or DQ him. Yeah, yeah. LLL. If you guys are wondering <laughs> what else I did, I, I bet Polo Acosta versus Sean Strickland. I lost that one. <laughs> Dustin Poirier versus Islam. Yeah, I bet it against Islam Mikachev. The You know the guy undefeated in two <laughs> fucking weight divisions? <laughs> yeah, man. Don't listen Versus to him. Dustin the Diamond Poirier. <laughs> the the diamond, diamond is the hardest metal on earth. <laughs> bro, yeah. bro, I was just hoping, you know? Yeah, yeah. Man, if nah, nothing else, man. The Russians, bro. Yeah. I think I think you're a good person to, like, bounce um, picks off of, you know? Because you just got to do the exact opposite. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing. yeah. So whatever you do tomorrow, bro, I gotta know so I could. I think you're going John Jones. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. All right. I need. Bro, a, if I get this wrong, bro, it's yeah. actually like I might have a hacking system. <laughs> I need to get two phones at that point. <laughs> two different names. Yeah. That'd be crazy, man. Damn. So I know who I'd pick for John Jones. I don't know who I'd pick for Michael Chandler versus uh, Charles Oliveira. That's a really hard one because nah, Michael they're Chandler, saying Charles is gonna win. Like he's the favorite. I mean, he got that jujitsu, bro. So as soon as he gets him down, he's gonna choke his ass out. Mm -hmm. It's just that Michael Chandler is so fucking ex explosive. Mm. He's so he's just a little short. Like, Ugh. yeah, and like, he and he drinks all of his water before he has his first cup of coffee every day. All of his water yeah. for the day. Yeah, like he drinks a gallon of water. Yeah, man. And then like, in the coffee. morning. Yeah. He said, I'm, I get my water out of the way. That doesn't even seem like Then a I good do my caffeine. Idea. I don't nah, think... man. He needs caffeine. I think yeah. he does water, vitamins. And then after that, then he takes his coffee. Then he goes yeah. outside. Like I think if you drink all your water at once, doesn't, doesn't most of it just run through? I think it does that anyways. No, like you have to like drink it like, you know, throughout the day. Mm, so your body periodically? Body. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. I mean, I could also have unverified facts again. Yeah. That is the case. I would say he drinks, let's just say, two bottles of water before he has oh, coffee. Okay, is that better for you? Yeah, I mean, a gallon of water is pretty crazy. It's a lot, yeah. and then coffee. 
Yeah. Sip, 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 sip. Yeah. Uh, I drink coffee every day. I drink decaf coffee, though. Actually, to be fair, I I, I pretty much have just a, a, a shit ton of creamer and fucking coffee and nutmeg and yeah. cinnamon. I, I'm pretty much just having like a cake every breakfast. Uh, yeah. It's delicious. I'm probably not going to change for a long <laughs> yeah. time. Hopefully. It does build That's up. It's just not good. Yeah, yeah, can't yeah. Drink your, can't drink your calories, bro. I can, man. I can, bro. I'm, I weigh more than you. Oh, so uh, yeah. Well, we that's know why I now. did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Took Birthday a lot cake. Of, <laughs> took a lot of work to get up here, man. But it was something where the fight was what it was. Yeah. Y'all could drop your opinions down in the comments. Also, we are on uh, Discord. You want to go ahead and oh, yeah. plug us up? Uh, go ahead and join the bomb squad. Bomb Be the squad. biggest bomb. Um, I forgot what it's called. What I think it's called on <laughs> Discord. Fucking, yeah, I think it's called um, Bomb Factory. Yeah, yeah. Be a part of the Bomb Factory. You are the bomb. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, fly buck on. Uh, fly buck on everything. On everything. Fly buck on everything. On everything. There you go. Fly buck is on everything. Yeah. I would. I would also. Could we have it as like the pin comment? Well, fly buck on everything. Yeah. No. Well. Yeah. That too. But like. No, yeah, exactly that. I like that. I like the attitude. Facts. Fly book on everything? On everything. I like that. I like that a lot. We do but speaking on. of bombing, man, we got to hear about yeah. it. Yeah. We got to hear about it. Seamless transition. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, people of everywhere, we got somebody who is aspiring to be a comedian who is going to be a comedian at one, at one time is going to tell us a funny story about how he bombed at being a comedian. Go ahead, tune us in, or let us know. When did it happen? Well, actually, I, I, I low-key want to hear everything. When you woke up this morning. This morning? <laughs> that, that morning. Oh, the, the, Tuesday. The tragic morning of Tuesday. Tuesday morning. Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and just get a date for y'all folks. <laughs> we got a story developing here. Tuesday, November 12th. You yeah. woke up. Yeah, <laughs> What did. did What did your day? Go ahead. Just for listen. We're, we're listening. We're listening. Um, I don't know. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're killing me, brother. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't killing them. But it, I don't know. It started yeah. as a pretty cool day. Mm. I, I don't know. It was a good day. It's just like before I ever do stand up, I always like I'm extremely nervous. Mm. So like I carry it the entire day. What did you have for breakfast that day? Um, I have the same thing for breakfast every day. McDonald's sausage eggs. <laughs> yep. I don't have McDonald's. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I you had that every day. Breakfast right after now. I'm getting homemade breakfast every day, bro. Sausage, egg, scramble. Don't mm. serve that at McDonald's. Hash browns <laughs> and toast. Um, you're, sometimes you're, you're making your own sausage McMuffin. <laughs> sometimes I make it into a sandwich. Sometimes I won't. And with some strawberry jam as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, it goes on the toast. I know. Yeah. Um, so yeah mcdonald's at home yeah i had my breakfast bro mm. so i don't know I, I just i got a bad problem with nerves mm. like i just feel the n nervous bad it could just be because it's like something i'm passionate about because i don't get this nervous about many things mm -hmm. uh i get like slight jitters like if i'm about to leave the house or if i'm about to go if i'm about to literally go anywhere mm -hmm. i'll get like a kind of pit in my stomach or i'll get like ah. a yeah we gotta like how can i gotta calm down real quick like i yeah. just feel like tightness everywhere uh or kind of like anxious feeling but uh so like things like maybe if i'm going to class or stand up that's when it really gets bad mm. and and classes in like jujitsu class jujitsu okay class, not yeah. like like astronomy nah, nah okay nah, i don't do <laughs> science biology yeah literature. okay cool i was like well dude i never knew this about <laughs> yeah i'm actually an economics <laughs> major yeah <laughs> major key <laughs> but i yeah bro i was just shitting myself and i was going through my notes reading figuratively my jokes. or literally shitting yourself uh well, i do get butterfly i get i get the butterfly guts mm that's so the worst. It'd be like right before I'm about to leave the house. Bubble guts are the worst. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta come <laughs> right back, back into the yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, I, I, oh, and then you know, of course, I went to the comedy club. Mm -hmm. um, it's not really a comedy club. It's just like an open mic. 
Is it what like what's the setting of it? Like I guess is it's it a like bar. it's a bar? Okay, yeah, it's a about. bar. They still have a setup in the back. Oh, I should do that. Um, it's ran by my friend Lucas Cop. Oh wow, he runs the number one uh, open mic in Portland. What's I think it it's probably uh, it is called uh, Montevilla Station. Montevilla Station. Yeah, I don't think they have like a specific name for the mic. Yeah, I think it's should. just the Montevilla Station. That like, works too. I mean, yeah. sometimes people do it outside. Yeah, you know? and it's easier to say when you say it. Like they look it up and it'll show the location on Google. Yeah, yeah. Instead of being like the Lightning House, and then be <laughs> like, and then like, what is it called? It's called Montevilla Station. Like, you know, mm-hmm. just, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's at Montevilla Station. Lucas Cop ran <laughs> every Tuesday. If you think you're funny, go ahead and give it a goddamn shot. <laughs> yeah. If you think you got the gall, but it's <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So you yeah. you walk in today, yeah. you walk in that day. Tuesday, the tragic night of Tuesday. Tuesday, you see twenty people surrounding the mic, sitting, waiting eagerly, for someone to change the rhythm, for someone to disrupt the peace. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. So I walk in, and I I always see Lucas like he's running around trying to get the next comedian to go up because he's the host. Mm-hmm. So he has a list. And he finds a comedian, and he runs them back upstairs. He announces them. He's super good at announcing. Uh, he sees me, and we kind of do this thing every time where I just walk in late usually. I'll be like 20, 10 minutes late because it starts at 7, mm-hmm. get there like 7.20. Uh, and he's like, you trying to do comedy? I'm like, yep. And this is what it's been for like the past yeah. couple of weeks now. Uh, but last Tuesday, I was like, Not the 12th. Uh, no, this is the 12th. Oh, the two- oh. No. Yeah, the last Tuesday we just had, mm. uh, he was like, you trying to do some jokes? And in my head, like, before, I'm always like, nah, nah, bro, I'm too nervous. And then he'll be like, nah, bro, come on, let's just do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he'll kind of, but this time I was like, all right, well, this is my job. Yeah. Like, this is, like, my career. I got to do this. And I was like, yeah, of course. And so and he threw me up yeah. last. <laughs> yeah. Closer. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 that's bro. a good one. No, it's Every, not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, being closer of, of like a car deal, you know. Yes, I just got a bonus. Oh, being yeah. the closer of the night, I feel like that's a big role. You, it's a you big responsibility. It. Yeah, it's um, or it could be everybody left and nobody cares. But go ahead. It is definitely both. <laughs> it is both. Yeah. Um, I would say it is. It's important because I would say the main comedy fans have either stayed or are comedians. Um, and yeah. the casuals who are just there for the bar have probably dipped out by now, like, cause most of the energy is kind of off now. The Tammy's kind of running around mm. cleaning and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so most people dip pretty early. Um, most comedians who did their set earlier, cause it's like 50 plus comedians. Wow. Yeah. Just so like seven, every week, bro. Seven until when? When is it? When do they close? Um, I think two thirty like regular bar. Oof, man, but that's still pretty. That, that's not how long the open mic goes. The oh, open okay. mic probably goes to like ten to eleven. Mm, okay. Yeah, so like four, three to four hours. So, so three minute time. sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like yeah, fifty to sixty comedians every week, bro. That's a lot of motherfuckers yeah. to be. Yeah. Julie, <laughs> Ronnie, yeah, macaroni, yeah, Ronnie macaroni is, is she's late. I like her. Oh, that's a cool name. Yeah, uh, I just met her twice now. You just met her twice. Yeah, I knew her when I first started doing comedy, mm-hmm. like because I tested out the waters, of course, and then I got scared and quit for like a year. <laughs> like, I did Damn. it like three times, and then yeah, got yeah. scared and quit for. Right I just away. didn't even notice it past that long. Like, that yeah. Time. Yeah, like I had no idea. I thought it had only been like a, you know, <laughs> a, a little intermission, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. I woke yeah. up with like a gray beard. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> am I still <so> funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> this shit. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know. We were cool. I invited, I, not invited, but I introduced her like the Highland shit. And we all like kind of. Yeah, that's serious, man. Group. That means you and I have a serious relationship. Yeah. That's nerve wracking. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What part of it was it? What would you say? You said this is my girlfriend, Hyla? Well, I mean, we were together at like a bar. Yeah, so I would say, what'd you say? Like, title, this, this, Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, man. I think, I don't think I like introduced her for, I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna start saying, uh, because I watch SpongeBob quite a bit because my son's into it. Yeah. I'm gonna start saying this is my uh, 
beautiful computer wife area. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Is that what he says? Well, he says, Karen, my computer wife, you know yeah. what I mean? But I'm like adding a little bit more yeah. to it. It's nerve wracking, man, to introduce people to your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. I never thought about it like that. Yeah. I never had that problem. I was nervous about it. Hey, what's, ner what's nerve wracking about it? I don't know, because you don't want to like make it awkward. Yeah. You'd be like, this is my girl, or this is my shorty, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I usually say wife, I guess, yeah. You say wife? Yeah. With no ring on? That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> this yeah. is but my... I think people tend to know it's a joke, but I am getting to the age where... Yeah, no, dude, like, people are like... It could be like, oh, yeah. are you guys really? Yeah, fiance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my fiance. Yeah, it's not like we're in high school and I'm nah, like... Nah, nah. Just joking, everyone. Ariel says partner. This is yeah. my partner, Marcos. Oh, bro, that sounds like you guys are in an LGBTQ yeah, relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. I think you've told me this already. Yeah. But yeah, that's not a... I'm not, I mean, for me, it's whatever, you know. I'm working on my own introductions. Sincere, they probably call you something. They probably call you Sincere the Diamond Peters. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, for on stage? Yeah, when they call you up. No, uh, he does give, like, a little introduction. Um, if he's your friend, I noticed that he would be like, oh, next up, very funny guy. Ah, yeah, every time, ah man, don't tell me he's funny. Yeah, just like get ready to laugh or just whatever. Ah, yeah, bro. that's social suicide, man. Very Sorry, funny so guy, yeah. social and aliving. <laughs> and so then I had to get up there and try to be very funny guy. Mm. So what happens? You go there, right? Uh -huh. What? Sorry, before you get past the curtains, before mm. the spotlight hits no your curtains. face. <laughs> okay. But before you tie your shoelaces and get up there in front of the crowd, what's going through Sincere the Diamond Peters' head? What the fuck am I going to say? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So you're treating it kind of like an eight-mile battle rap is what you're treating it. <laughs> you just going to come up with the freestyle. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, cause cause there's so many. Like, a song is simple mm -hmm. because you have the lyrics down. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. But with comedy, you're just, you're almost talking, you know? Yeah. It's hard to go just Sorry. by the script. Mm -hmm. Like, and you almost got to react in real time to everything around you, you yeah. know? Like, there's people who could say stuff to you randomly, react to something weirdly. Yeah. Um, or even just during the buildup, you don't think the story is going to go how it goes. So trying to, like, know what you're going to say, mm. for me, is, like, the hardest part. Mainly due to just being inexperienced, mm. just not having. Because I think, uh, what's that one dude, Nate Jackson? Nate Jackson, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's yeah. like a dude you liked for a while. Yeah, in Seattle. Yeah, or he's, like come here. Yeah, he's super good at crowd work. Yeah, man. But that that shit comes with time. Like, how many times can you ask someone, okay, what do you do for work? And then they're gonna be like, I'm a veterinarian. And then you'd be like, uh, oh, doggy bitch or something like whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, would yeah. Say. But then, like, you just say something funny, and then you could keep using that for, like, any time a bitch is a vet. Yeah. Any time somebody's a construction worker. Any, yeah. like, you know? Or lesbian. Or lesbian. He uses Caesars. He uses Caesars over and over again. Yeah, so he, he's just, like, it's it, a lot of that stuff comes with experience, but it looks like it comes, like, off the top. Mm. Like, they're being creative, and, like, they're being. Yeah, And yeah, it might yeah. be. They might have, like, a genuine off-the-cuff moment, mm -hmm. but most of it is just, like, you know, you could it's rehash stuff from a open mic, a comedy yeah. store. Yeah. Something. It's got to be said somewhere. Yeah. You know, whether in the private quarters of the room or the 30th time they said it in the same location. Yeah. But every time I've watched it, even if I hear some repeat jokes, it just hits, you know? Yeah. It's something where there's definitely an, an influence that he has because the very funny Nate Jackson, you yeah. know what I mean? And it's also something where if if you're being introduced as that, my guard is lower sometimes, you know, because if this guy's funny and I've seen some of his material, I'll believe it, right? You're a brand new guy being introduced to 20 people as being very funny, right? What are you thinking you're going to say when you get up there? Um, I'm thinking I, I thought I had it for a sec. Yeah, go ahead. Until I started saying it. And then I realized I had nothing in my hands. <laughs> yeah. <It's> just, <laughs> yeah, bro. It was like I was like Chef Ramsay for a second, and then I would open the pot. <laughs> Boiling was, water. Yeah, bro. It, was, <laughs> it burned away, actually. Yeah. Shit was empty, bro. Um, but I just started 
chatting. Like, I just literally just started talking. Mm. Like, nothing. I was going to talk about bald people. Um, <laughs> you know, the classic. <laughs> yeah. My one-headed trick. <laughs> What's the deal with bald people? Yeah. They probably don't buy shampoo. <laughs> Yeah, you can't take that, by the way. Yeah, That's I my will. joke. <laughs> yeah. Watch what you say around me. <laughs> I may get famous from it. <laughs> All right, so so bald people. <laughs> I started doing commercials off that joke. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, at I'm least we could reference this. Commercials with The Rock and never release this yeah. episode. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. That is so good. Okay. I mean, I'll pray for your success, man. Your <laughs> success is my success. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I try to get on that deal a little bit. <laughs> when you said the rock, yeah. I said, "Hey, man, yeah. it work out You're perfectly." Winning. Mikasa, too, right? <laughs> yeah. So go ahead. So go ahead. Yeah. So you go out there, ball people out the door. Yeah. What you got next? Um. So I didn't even bring up ball people. I forgot. <laughs> the the thing I had next was uh coming. Mm. Yeah, and it was like just coming all over myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's and, something uh and they didn't like that like they didn't they wasn't feeling that at all mm. and i was like after i said it i was like that makes sense yeah. <laughs> i just talked about coming on myself yeah and not even like in a clear coherent way it was like i was whispering and mumbling it <laughs> so, so i'm just probably a weirdo yeah yeah uh but they did like the part because like I don't know. I think I do. Like I'm, I'm at least able to understand when I'm eating shit in yeah. front of people. Like yeah. when I'm saying shit that is like ass. Mm. You know, I, yeah. I could feel the the eyeballs and the silence. Mm. It is very piercing, and I, I could see some people not feel that. Like I could see some people just not understand that they're bombing or eating shit. Yeah, or like bomb, and then I like I'll talk to them after. And I won't tell them that they bombed and yeah. like that they did bad. I would kind of assume that they know, mm. and they don't need someone else to be like, "Oh, you suck." Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I see something, and they're like, "Oh yeah, that was like that was good." Like, yeah. like they heard like laughs and stuff, and then the laughs that I may have heard that they thought I think they heard were either laughing at them, or just laughing at the like the awkwardness. Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes I'd be dying at a comedian because of how hard he's eating shit. Yeah, man. And like the reactions of the crowd of them, yeah, I'll be laughing at that. But like there, there's a dude that day mm. who came straight in with anti-Semitic jokes, um, anti-women. <laughs> this guy's a real piece of shit. <laughs> you know you can't say that anymore. I almost personally kicked him out. Of his bed. <laughs> Um, Does he know the type of pain women go through? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was eating shit. And he went back to his table. But, like, this was the most quiet I've ever heard a bar in my life as mm. this dude was doing his set. I've also never heard nobody try to go that far. Like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he did a trans joke. I'm pretty sure he did the, like, it was just, it was all of it. Like, he just tried to do all of it. But Damn. you could tell what he was trying to do. He was trying to be a crazy, edgy comedian. And it was corny. Dang. And everybody, like, even, okay, so there's, like, a section off part. It kind of cuts off. And then there's, like, mm -hmm. the real bar. And then the part where it's all seats and stuff. Everybody's looking at the comedian. Yeah. That part's all quiet. And then a couple of seconds later, the whole bar is turning around now. And they're all quiet now, Whoa. too. And, like, that was the first time I've ever heard both sides just, like, what the fuck is yeah. this guy doing, bro? Yeah. And he was a young dude. And he sat back in the same bar. Like, he didn't leave or nothing. Man. He sat down with his friends. He had friends there. And then his friend was just like, yeah, bro, that was hilarious. <laughs> just, like, I think he thought maybe the reaction of what he did to everybody was funny. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, all those softies can't take it. Like, yeah. Type of energy and shit. <laughs> all those libs. Yeah. Libs can't handle the truth. <laughs> yeah. And I was sitting, like, right next to him. I was just, like, li I don't know. I was just going to just listen to see what the mindset is mm. behind some shit like this. Thinking that it would never happen to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, how do you eat shit this hard? And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Should yeah. come naturally. But the problem is, it's not eating shit. It's the, it's the recognizing mm. that you're eating shit. The ability to tell, the social awareness. 
Yeah. That's, yeah. You're not being a funny guy right now. And there's nothing wrong with not being funny. You just got to practice. But, you know, blaming the audience for not being funny is super corny. Yeah. Being like, they don't get it is super corny. I would say that. Uh, oh, yeah. So the part that they actually liked, okay, again, just super sucking myself off with all the social awareness. Should have used it to make somebody laugh, bro, <laughs> since I got all that fucking <laughs> Did all social. that study yeah. <laughs> in the background. You know, all these social cues, man. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> learn to tell a joke. <laughs> yeah. That damn psychologist yeah. over here. I think it turned around when I started to like shit on my own set, and like I just kind of just said that like I don't know why I told y'all that stuff. Like, <laughs> like I didn't need to tell you. Yeah, like, yeah. And I, I just it was something along the lines of like if. Even if it had went great, like I just told all, like <laughs> t- like ten to twenty niggas in a bar, <laughs> I just came all over myself. <laughs> like I'm just that guy now, you know. Yeah, so, but it, yeah. and, and especially it not going well. That's what I. That's what I do, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I looked cool before that too. Yeah, like, mysterious. I didn't talk to nobody. <laughs> I was sitting by myself. <laughs> little book and yeah. stuff. And then now like, whoa, what is he finna? <laughs> the guy's know? been cooking something. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's, it's a shitty story. <laughs> Forgetting bald jokes and coming yeah. on yourself. Man. Yeah. And then you picked it up, I'm assuming, in the second half, maybe? Yeah, because I just started shitting on the fact that I w- was trying to talk about coming on myself, and I thought it was funny. Mm. It's it's just, uh, it's... Um... <laughs> yeah, self... Uh... Not deprivation. Self-deprecating? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be shitting yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Defecate. No. Defecating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Self-deprecating yeah. is not good. <laughs> I'm just self-deprecating. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just on stage self-defecating. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, I really was. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Self-deprecating. I don't think you... Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like to tell a joke, funny. bro, and it like not hit sucks. It's but it's to, crazy. It's crazy when you're just in like a social like with your friends and shit. Yeah, yeah. And you can kind of just look it off <laughs> and like you know. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. nobody get on your ass about like how unfunny that shit was. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what we all pray for is that nobody's like nobody's hey, looking. everybody pay attention to how unfunny yeah, yeah, that yeah. nigga was just <laughs> now. Yeah. Yo, man. But when you're holding a mic and under a spotlight and everyone's looking at you, yeah. under the context of, hey, this guy is hilarious. Hey, <laughs> pay attention, everyone. This guy's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our last one of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hit it home. <laughs> this guy's been sitting in the corner for an hour. Three man. hours. <laughs> watching everyone go. And this is what he came up with at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, man, that is embarrassing. Yeah, that's so funny. I'm loving this story. Yeah, I love. You know, what I love about <laughs> the most about this story, my, my brother in Christ. The thing I love about this, uh, the most about this story, is that it didn't happen to me. You know what I mean? Like ah. it's really easy to like point at somebody and laugh at them. Yeah. But I will give you your flowers here, bro. Yeah. Here's the thing, man. The fact that you still went up there, it's just like you're you're chipping off the ice block. You know what I mean? Like you're carving yourself into a masterpiece. And that takes time, man. Yeah. And sometimes the tool might break. Sometimes the ice might be stiffer. But the point is, is that you took a hiatus and you came right back into it. Yeah. And you needed this experience, man. Yeah. You needed it. As, yeah. as man, as shitty as it probably felt, man, oh, yeah. to be self-defecating in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah. You went out and did that. And some people, man, especially those people in the crowds, they just didn't get your joke, man. I'm going to be real with you. Because what you said is funny as hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. that's me being your friend. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, If I was that, there, I don't know what I don't know what could have happened, man. I probably would have been laughing my ass off still. Yeah. I was like, all that sweet and under the context that I go back. So, <laughs> man, I could you got to go back, quit, man. Bro. I could <laughs> quit after you could that. Never, bro. That's true, man. Tuesday's coming up real soon. I was just riding a high until it was over. Yeah. Until I, reality set in. That is the hardest part to know that I just ate shit 
and then I'm finna go maybe do it again. I mean, it just it just happens, bro. Sometimes you, you sometimes you smack your own balls during sex. You know what I mean? It happens. Sometimes yeah. you're in. Sometimes you're you're having car sex and you accidentally let out fart, man. You just gotta work through oh, it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, man, that is tough. Sometimes actually. you gotta just be like, man, this isn't my best position, but I know what I'm capable of, mm. and you gotta just finish where you can, man. Which should be the finish line. Yeah. But also, really funny that nobody laughed, man. It's got to be said. Because you're one of the funniest. You're, like, the funniest dude I know. That's, that's so the cool. fact that your natural, like, ability is not, like, you don't go up there and, and be the same sincere, you know? No. It's almost like you're acting, you know? Yeah. Because you have to pretend like you don't know how to be funny. And the nerves you have and all the things that you feel, like the bubble guts, maybe maybe the sweaty palms and stuff. Yeah. The most beautiful thing about that, bro, is that you invented it. Like that's all you. Yeah. The nervousness, the the palms, the not being able to recall jokes, that's your invention. And you could just reinvent yourself, man. Like honestly. Yeah. That's what my therapist told me. Yeah. Yeah, man. Wow. She told it's me that the way you cope around certain things and the way you've chosen to kind of adapt with your intuition is a self made product. And the thing is, is that it's great when it works, but what if it doesn't, right? You need to be able to take those instruments, those those failures, and repurpose them, right? Like, you got this in the bag, man. It's just, it depends if you want to make it a mile-long race or a hundred-mile-long race, right? Yeah. But at some point, you got to catch your stride. And that's yeah. really what I'm talking about with being self-made, is that, you're creating the race, right? Yeah. You're giving yourself the goal that I'm going to be the best comedian. And those open mics, man, they're going to feel like fucking, they're going to feel like cheesecake after you set your goal where it's supposed to be at. Yeah. Cause you, you up there free balling, man. You letting your balls just show, man. God. You gotta, bro, this is what you gotta do, man. As a person who doesn't do stand up, yeah. you I got, do. you got to do foreplay, man. <laughs> you don't yeah. just, I mean, now you do with this, but with this yeah. example, is that right. like yeah? What does that mean? You got a foreplay? Yeah, yeah. It's like if you have like let's say you having some some relations with your girl, yeah. right? And you know you about to get frisky, right? You don't just pull your pants down, you know what I mean? Uh. I mean, yeah, I do too, <laughs> right? You but let's say, but, it but let's right just immediately? Let, yeah, let's just pretend, right? Okay. Let's just pretend <laughs> for conversation's sake. Yeah. Is you gotta so have when he gets next, she's gonna come. you gotta bef you gotta know before the play. That means you gotta prep yourself, man. If you take one shower, take two showers. The first one was to be clean. The second one is to calm your nerves, right? Mm. If you eat breakfast, eat the best breakfast you think you can have at that time. It's only yeah. gonna get better. That's, I can't eat though. That's what I mean. Sure. I mean, like, I, my nerves make me feel like I'm gonna throw up. Sure, man. Sure. Again, <laughs> what the fuck, man? I, I'm telling you this, man. If yeah. it's not, if it's not something, man, fine tune it. Drink yeah. some water. Yeah, How about that's that? what I do. Yeah. yeah. I deep breath and I try to drink water and shit. Perfect. It's, it's hard, bro. Yeah, I, man. I get hella nauseous. Yeah, man. I don't know what it is, dude. It's your own invention, man. I start taking Xanax. That's not where. Okay. <laughs> so that's before the play, right? We dressed yeah. ourselves. We showed up to the event. Now here's the foreplay. Ready? Mm. Is you gotta understand what your fuck is. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you're not gonna give like uh, you're not gonna give Keisha potentially the same game as you would give to a Rachel, mm. right? is you understand that in your brain, hey, there's a distinction here, right? Each crowd has its own personality. And you, sir, are a master craftsman when it comes to personality. Mm. And all you got to do is understand what you're looking at. Yeah. If you back there anyways, three hours looking at other people, look at the people who you're intending to make laugh, right? Yeah. I do this all the time when I'm at work, you know? Some people I could be more professional, others I could be more lax, right? Yeah. Either way, I'm going to be a funny guy to both sets, right? Yeah. Still carry that persona that you are the funniest in the room. You have the skill sets. Yeah. And when you go up there, man, after you get through that, you got to penetrate, bro, through the awkwardness, through the anxiety, and understand that you love to fuck. Or, better yet, you love to tell jokes, yeah. right? Let that kind of consume, consume the fear, right? Let that be a boost to your jokes that, hey, not only am I telling you this to be funny, but I actually love the craft. Because then you start to respect the things you say more often. 
then you'll start getting over those little slopes as to like, you know, the little mumble ends and then the, you know, I ejaculated on myself. You know what I mean? Once you love the craft and you set the goal out, bro, you got it, man. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. I hear, I hear your advice. I hear your advice. <laughs> bro was thinking about Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Minecraft Bobby. speed run. <laughs> What if, Dream, what if Dream did fake it? <laughs> yeah, man. Did Duke Dennis really fumble? <laughs> yeah. Bro, bro. Um, yeah, bro. So I, I bombed, bro. Raccoon mm, bomber. bomber. <laughs> that shit But sucks. listen what I'm telling you, mijo. Is that everything I told you, bro, is perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to it twice, bro. I gotta edit this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, and then, wow, and then really give me, was. give me like the. I'm crying at home. It's <laughs> inspirational. <laughs> yeah. I kind of yeah. want it to be like the, like when, uh, Vegeta was giving that speech to Goku, turn him into power. You know, oh. I entrusted everything to you. Everything, mm. my pride, my goals, my dreams. That's like the third time he did that shit. Yeah. Yeah, because he got gave him like a heavenly speech for like Boo, and then yeah. he gave him like a laying out speech when Frieza was yeah. piecing his ass up. Every time he near death, he get like, <laughs> but wait, 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 got Garats. <laughs> I got one hero. more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got one more thing. To yeah, say. yeah. Hopefully that makes some sense though. But you bombing, yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. This is a funny ass thing to happen. I didn't. I wasn't as upset as I thought it would be at first. I thought I would definitely go cry somewhere if I ever bombed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just called Hyla and I was just like, damn. Didn't work out this time. <laughs> Didn't Baby, work this time. Pack the bags up. Yeah. Move into a new city. And like before, like I would like question like bomb. Like, ah, that was like sort of a bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this one I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's definitive. This one I felt for sure. Yeah, yeah. the first half was just too quiet. <laughs> Too quiet, and then like I know the parts that I wanted the live set mm-hmm. it wasn't going. Dang. And the fact that like the only part of them laughing at is me talking about how stupid the joke I just attempted to tell was is not a, it's not the joke. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah, not yeah. the point of open mic. It's good experience for recovery. Yeah, like you know, which is stuff I'm gonna need. Yeah. So if a joke ever don't work. I'm gonna need to know how to get the fuck out of that That's moment. That's true, man. Next time it's gonna be 40 people and not no damn 20. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and who knows? How, maybe somebody will audibly boo. <laughs> like, this is the last. Yeah. Yeah, man. And then throw a tomato at me. And then I won't, you know, so I gotta be prepared. But yeah. Happened to Dave Chappelle. Yeah, throwing yeah. through a tomato? No, they booed him. Oh, yeah. He did not leave. Yeah, yeah. He got high. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, if you think you're better than Dave Chappelle to never get yeah. booed, then yeah, I'm sorry, brother, but you're high on your own. Yeah, imagine booing Dave Chappelle. Man, people do it. That's, people have done it, I should say. Yeah, but why? Why did they boo you, brother? They didn't. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, damn, bro. Yeah. Just bummed a little bit. <laughs> why do they hate you, huh? <laughs> I mean, because you said when you walked off the stage, normally they. Yeah. What did they do? Like. Every other time you went. Yeah, every other time I went, like, when I get off a of stage, mm. they just usually tell me, like, they they give me um, just, uh, just like, either, like, a summary or things that I could and, sh- like, could do better, you know? Yeah. But this time, they had no suggestions. <laughs> they had no notes. And it was like I wasn't fucking there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I remember the the set before that one I did. I ended and I did this with my hands. <laughs> That's how yeah. good it went. Dang, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this time, I don't even remember seeing a face on my way out. Mm. I think I remember seeing my shoes. Because I had my <laughs> head down. <laughs> yeah. Dragging his feet. Yeah, on the, on the walk back, so... Yeah, people were just like, like the things I've heard is like, yeah, your set is really you just because I tell like, like everything, all the jokes I do are just about me. Like they're not just yeah. like, oh, why do women do da 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 or a criminal walked across the, no, I just tell shit or a story about myself or whatever. Um, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, last Tuesday it didn't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So, um, so people would just usually tell me that like they like that I'm like telling jokes about me that they're like original to me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And it's just like it's just unique shit. Um, you know, very talented, very unique. Um, didn't get that. Mm. Yeah, didn't get the same praise. Um, I guess that wasn't me. <laughs> I guess I'm acting different. <laughs> man, they act different, man. That's yeah, crazy bro. for nobody to kind of yeah. tap your shoulder and be like. But I do it too, and I didn't notice. Well, I mean, mm. I did notice because I like felt me <laughs> like trying not to look at the nigga who bombed. <laughs> yeah, because it's a small bar, bro. So like yeah. when they get off, they gotta walk by everybody. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just side eyes, bro. But yeah. when they do good, it's like, ah, wow. <laughs> Another then, banger. Yeah, they can see you shake up the people who do good and see you not shake up them. and Just like immediate ops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a matter of like a minute and 30 seconds. So, uh, yeah, no one said shit to me, dude. <laughs> Lucas didn't say nothing to Dang. me. I didn't. It was just quietness. I went back to my seat. <laughs> Sat back down. I stayed for a little too long. I think. Yeah. I think I should have took my ass home. <laughs> it was like, yeah, that guy needs to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because what do you feel like? The guy who yeah. who did the anti-Semitic, did you feel like he should have left? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he should have left. But that's because people were telling him, though. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. the next comedian that went up got on his ass. Like, he was just like. He tried to. He also didn't do very good. Mm. But he was trying to ride the energy of, like, we're all shitting on this guy. Yeah, And man. so the first, like, three jokes he did, um, like, people laughed at just out of the, the fact that we all didn't fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just like, yeah, duh, that was stupid as fuck to say. Yeah. Because yeah. you're doing, like, offensive jokes, but then you're also doing them super poor. Yeah. So it's a, it's a terrible mix to have, mm -hmm. bro. Uh but then he just wasn't telling good jokes about it, you know? Mm. So, like, we're on your side about it, but that doesn't make you funny. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. False confidence. Yeah. False courage. Yeah. So well, it takes one bar. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and Dragon Ball's Barking Zero. Sorry, guys. Mm. Oh, but yeah, so he, he did cool-ish, you know? Mm. But, yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard, bro. Mm. It's just hard. Yeah, man. Not for everybody. It's not. It's not Maybe, for the week, bro. Yeah. It takes a lot, man. And you got to see a girl after, too. It's like, I'm not a wiener, babe. I'm not it's a wiener. Full of other, a room full of guys who are funnier than me? <laughs> yeah, man. That's oh, crazy. Fuck. He's starting to choose up, too. <laughs> off one off one bad joke. One bad set ruined one everything. One bad shit ruined yeah. it all. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, I'm actually thinking about what it's going to be like to go back. Uh, but it did make me want to, like, change the style of jokes. Yeah, man. Like, you need that evolution. Yeah. It made me want to put more structure behind my jokes. Preparation, yeah. all that. So, like, right now, my structure for writing a joke is I just write the premise of it. Mm. So I just write the idea of it, but not even like line for line or like the opening bar. lines or anything or any words that I'm going to say verbatim. Yeah. It's just like uh, Laffy Taffy on the bottom of a shoe or some shit. Mm. And then whatever the story or joke was, I know what it is. And I'm going to tell the story around it, but I'm going to actually take apart those stories mm. and then like see how I'm going to word and format them. And then once I say them, I could catch the funny parts. Mm. You could catch when, like, the parts that are actually going to be useful to the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, instead of just saying the entire story. Yeah. And it's not a comedy say, it's a story time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so that's what I want to avoid because a lot of the shit was bombing because I was doing a goddamn story time about bullshit for so long. Oh, yeah, I guess they liked the first joke I did. Cause I forgot I did, the, I did a joke about a homeless guy. Mm. Uh, it was the macchiato thing. I just told them that he asked for seven dollars for it, and that's mm -hmm. that's just a joke. There's no like. This is that's. Oh no! The yeah. joke was that like uh, I didn't know what a macchiato. I had to Google it or some shit. <laughs> yeah, and they 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 they, they, they like that, but it was. Yeah, they just didn't like to come on myself. So. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I lost them. <laughs> <laughs> it never came to me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. And then also, I I mean, you do obviously have a lot, 
to lose, mm -hmm. but you also don't have anything to lose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's not like nobody hears that and it's like, let me go fuck up again. You know what I mean? Nobody's yeah. chipper about it. Yeah. No, I want to be way more careful. Um, mm -hmm. I do want to be way more prepared. Not even careful. I just want to be more prepared for next time. Um, because, shit, I know I'm going to be nervous. I can feel it right now. Like, thinking about Dang. the fact that Tuesday is coming up, yeah, like, I can yeah. feel it in my stomach already. Yeah. Uh, and I just got to get to the point where these things aren't a big deal. You know? It's just nobody yeah. cares. Like, no. Everyone who does comedy knows that open mics are made for you to work out the joke. Like, if you had prepped funny jokes, go do yeah. shows in arenas. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. That's... Like what do you what are you practicing your prepped funny jokes for? You know they're prepped, you know they're funny. Just go do the paid shows and make some money. Yeah. Don't do free open mics with your fucking raw, like uh, cut up material. That doesn't even make sense. Mm. But if you want to go practice something, say something you're not sure about. Don't get on somebody's sponsored show and say it. Don't get on a show where you're getting paid commission for the audience. Like, you know, mm. get on a show where anybody can sign up. And you guys, like, it's just, it's no pressure. And it's mainly just other comedians there. Like, it's not promo for the stuff unless yeah. you're a comedian. Like, even the the way that he, uh, he, he does promote it, like, on a story and stuff. Yeah. But the listing and stuff, there's, like, a secret Facebook comedy group. And, mm. like, yeah, you just, it gets posted inside there. It's just, oh, boy. I, I just gotta, I gotta be prepared. Yeah, man, prep, 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 you got prep. it. And make sure you guys also like, comment, subscribe, reading that bell notification. Come with some words of inspiration for dear old sincere, the Diamond Peters. He might need yeah. to hear it. I uh, want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been your co-host, Marcos. Hopefully you guys laugh, maybe learn a thing or two. I've been the bummer. <laughs> <laughs> the bummer. And we'll see you guys next week.